Synaptic transmission. So far we've looked at how a wave of depolarization is generated along a single neuron. But how does this impulse pass from one neuron to another? Neurons are very close to each other, but do not touch. How does the action potential move from one neuron to another? The space where the two neurons interface is called the synapse. Let's take a closer look at one synapse. Here we see the presynaptic neuron and the axon terminal and the postsynaptic neuron and a portion of its dendrite. There are three significant phases of synaptic transmission. The release of neurotransmitters, diffusion of the neurotransmitter across the synapse, and binding of the neurotransmitter to receptor sites on the postsynaptic neuron's dendrites. Neurotransmitters are released by the presynaptic neuron. As the impulse arrives at the axon terminal, the membrane becomes permeable to calcium. Calcium gates open up and calcium flows in. Calcium interacts with contractile proteins attached to the vesicles. These contractile proteins also bond with the cell membrane. The calcium causes the proteins to shorten, thus pulling the vesicles closer to the cell membrane. Vesicles merge with the membranes and release neurotransmitter. Neurotransmitter diffuses across the synapse and binds with receptor sites on the postsynaptic neuron's dendrites. As a result, sodium gates open. As a result, sodium gates open and sodium flows into the postsynaptic neuron. This depolarizes that portion of the postsynaptic neuron and initiates a new wave of depolarization in the postsynaptic neuron. Some common neurotransmitters include GABA, gamma aminobutyric acid, ACH or acetylcholine, dopamine, serotonin, and melatonin. And these are active in different neural pathways, especially in the brain. After the neurotransmitter has signaled the postsynaptic neuron to depolarize, it must quickly be cleared from the synapse before another impulse arrives at the axon terminal of the presynaptic neuron. There are three ways this can be done. An enzyme can break down the neurotransmitter. For example, acetylcholine is broken down by acetylcholinesterase. The neurotransmitter can simply diffuse away. And then be picked up by the bloodstream and eliminated by the kidneys or destroyed by the liver. Dopamine is removed in this way. Other neurotransmitters can be removed through reuptake, where neurotransmitters are taken back into the vesicles of the presynaptic neuron and the process is reversed. So either an enzyme breaks it down, the neurotransmitter simply diffuses away, or the neurotransmitter is picked up and put back into the vesicles. Why is it so important for that neurotransmitter to be gone by the time the next wave of depolarization arrives? The postsynaptic neuron membrane needs to repolarize before it can be depolarized again. In this video, we've looked at how a wave of depolarization moves from one neuron to another across the synapse. And we've seen that it involves three phases. Release of the neurotransmitter, diffusion of the neurotransmitter, and binding of the neurotransmitter.